Hey, Jeannie and Ron here with Rooted in Love Urban Homestead. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit today. So in our video today, we're gonna talk about Tomato Planting 101. Planting tomatoes from seed into the ground. What we're doing today, we're going to plant uh, our Cherokee Purple and our mm -hmm. Arkansas Travelers in bags and these will go in the cages that uh, I built a couple years ago so you can see how that goes in in a little bit later video. We're just planting today and we're also going to plant our Sun Gold Cherry Tomatoes and the Amish Paste Tomatoes in the new bed uh, that I made and I'm probably gonna to have to build a cage around it too so but we're gonna go ahead and plant today and see what happens here we go so the first thing we're gonna do is amend our organic potting mix and Ron why don't you talk to us about how we're gonna do that okay so we're using an organic potting mix and it already has some fertilizer in it um, but I'm gonna go ahead and add in a good handful of worm castings, the organic chicken manure, and some lime and some bone meal. This is the bag I'm using. It's a 10 gallon uh, cloth bag so it can breathe through the outside. So I'm going to fill it up with dirt and put in a tomato. And I'll put the tomato almost all the way to the bottom and I'll show you that in a minute. So our bag is about half full. I'm gonna dig a hole right in the middle for our tomato. It's almost to the bottom. This is one of our Arkansas Traveler tomatoes. You can see the roots are nice and healthy. The leaves are good and healthy. So I'm gonna put this bottom all the way down in there and I'm gonna trim off leaves to the top of where the dirt's going to be. Why are you doing that? You don't bury the leaves in the dirt. So I'm going to loosen this up a little bit where the roots are kind of compacted. I'm going to put it down in the hole. All right, I'm going to put the plant in the hole. Let's fill that in. So the dirt's going to come all the way up to here. I'm going to trim these leaves off and this whole stem will grow roots all the way up to the top of the dirt. So this way you get a lot more roots for your tomatoes to grow. Why is it important to have a lot of roots? The more roots you have, the more nourishment gets into your tomatoes and the better harvest you have. So is it almost one potting mix bag for the bag that you're planting in? Yes, so about 1.5 cubic feet in that bag is just about one full cloth bag, grow bag. 
All right, one down. That's it, and I'm gonna water it in good. One down and five to go. Five to go. So here's our new raised bed. We're planting the sun gold. And we're planting Amish paste in here. And since our bed is not very deep and our plants are very tall, I'm going to grow them on their side. So I'm going to dig a trench and bury this whole stem up to about here. We'll leave that part coming out. So all this will grow roots plant will be coming up over here and this one I'll bury it here and it'll be coming up over here all down the line looks happy So there's our bed of sun gold cherry tomatoes and Amish paste tomatoes. So here are our Cherokee purple and Arkansas traveler. These are heirloom tomatoes. And so we've just planted them in the bags and we will tie string on them and put them in a cages in a couple of weeks. Don't touch you. <laughs> it's so dirty. <laughs> she told me not to touch her because her my hands are dirty. You believe that? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have planted our tomatoes. Uh, we've done the bed, and we've done six bags, and. Probably next week or the week after we'll be putting them in the cages and stringing them up and I'm probably gonna build some kind of cage around the bed so like we said earlier there's more to follow on that <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out with us for a bit we hope you learned how to plant tomatoes from seed into pots and uh, Until next time, may all you do be rooted in love. <laughs>